Yo, yo, what's up, beautiful poultry people? How are you feeling today? How are you on that scale from one to 100? Are you chilling in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s? Or maybe you're chilling in the 10s and the 20s and the 30s? Maybe you in the middle in the 50s. Wherever you happen to be, it's perfectly okay. Who is anyone to tell you where you need to be on that scale? Chill with yourself. Take a breath. Think about why you might be feeling the way you might be feeling. Write it down in a brain dump. My name is Zohab Z Khan. I am a spoken word poet and I am on your screen right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're coming back and you've seen another one of my videos and you're like, yeah, I like that dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos and you clicked on that button and seeing this face, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's very much appreciated. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, we're going to be writing a quick prompt poem. I'm gonna be guiding you through the entire thing. Don't you worry, I'ma chill with you. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with it, thinking, thinking about words in a different way that you don't usually think about them. So, chill with me, let's do this. Take a breath, and before we start, gotta have a dance. Let's do this. Okay, poetry time. Have you got your pen? Have you got your pencil? Have you got your paper? Have you got something to write on and write with? If you do, pois. If you don't, what you doing, what you doing? Come on, come on, come on. All right, step number one. What I want you to do is think of a word you like the sound of. Any world, any word in this entire world, in the entire universe, that you like the sound of, pick it right now and put it on the top of your page. It could be absolutely anything. It could be chimpanzee, potato, pineapple, tomato, pantomime, Paraguay, aeroplane, or maybe wibble wobble woe. Is wibble wobble woe actually a word? It's perfectly okay if you want to make up a word as well. Who is anyone to tell you that a word is not a word? Psh, like banana? Who came up with the word banana? Like if there was a dude who said, yo, this is called a banana, I'd be like, banana, na, 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 na. That does not look like a banana to me. That looks more like a, I don't know. I don't know what I would call a banana if it wasn't called a banana. What would you call a banana if it wasn't called a banana? You know what? Let's pause this video. Put the comment down in the below in the comment in the comment section. What would you call a banana if a banana wasn't called a banana? Go on. I'm a gi I'll wait. Did you do it? Did, did, did you? So now that you've chosen a word that you really, really like the sound of, right at the top of your piece of paper, and that is the character of our poem. I'm gonna choose the word commotion. I like the sound of the word commotion. That's gonna be my word for the poem. Line number one, are you ready for it? Line number one is, I want you to describe in one line, what does your character look like? I'm gonna give you a whole 60 seconds. So for example, my character is commotion. So commotion, what does commotion look like? Commotion looks like a red and orange <laughs> confined explosion. Yeah. That's a good line of poetry. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to write down a quick line of poetry using that sense of sight. What does your character look like? Pwah, pwah, go, go. Okay, did you get your line down? If you didn't get your line down, perfectly okay. Sometimes 60 seconds just isn't enough. 
just hit that pause button, take a breath and get that line down. If you have finished that line, congratulations. Okay, okay, line number two. What I want you to do, take the pressure off. They don't have to be amazing, perfectly, perfectly perfect poem, perfect plot. See? Well, line number two is about limbs. Boom, boom, boom. Limbs are your arms and your legs. How many limbs does your character have? What does it do with its limbs? So, commotion's limbs would move like an ocean, waving around. Hands wave, ocean waves. So, write a quick line of poetry about what your character does with their limbs. For me, I guess commotion could move like the ocean, but also commotion would use its limbs to shake passers by unexpectedly. <sighs> so have. Wow. Okay, so quickly write down one quick line of poetry about what your character does with their arms and their legs. What do they do with their limbs? I'm gonna give you another 60 seconds. Pwa, pwa, pwa. Okay, are you all done? Beautiful. Line number three. What happens to you when your character touches you? What's the feeling that you get? Does it have rough sandpaper hands or maybe it puts a shiver down your body? You tell me. What does it feel like to be touched by your character? I guess commotion's touch would feel like a ripple through my body. All right, your turn now. 60 seconds, you know the drill. Three, two, Okay, line number four. We're cruising, we're cruising, we're cruising. Line number four is all about these guys, the eyes. What are the eyes like on your character? What color are they? What do they remind you of? What do they look like? You tell me. Write down one line about your character's eyes. Commotion's eyes would be like volcanoes erupting from his skull. Now, your turn. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds. Get that next line down, pwop pwop.
Okay, okay. Let's do it. We're cruising through these lines. Next line is all about using our sense of smell. So this time, what I want you to do is tell me what does your character's breath smell like? Does it smell or does it smell you tell me. Try to use as many describing words as you can. Don't just say, oh, it smells bad. Bad how? Or don't just smell it or say it smells good. What else smells good? Use as many describing words as you can. So for me, commotion's breath. Hmm. Commotion's breath smells like it has just eaten upside down pineapple cake the wrong way up. Your turn now. 60 seconds. Try to get a line down about how your character's breath smells. Okay, okay. Now, did you get the line down? Have you needed to pause? It's okay if you've needed to pause. Perfectly fine. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to rhyme. It's all good. Go at your own pace. Hopefully 60 seconds is enough for you. It's okay if it's not. Now, shall we do the next line? Yes, yes, yes. This one's all about sound. Tell me, what does the voice of your character sound like? What does your character sound like? Then write down another line about what your character is saying. Write down what your voice sounds like of your character and what the character is saying. So for example, commotion would speak quickly and slowly and sometimes side to side upside down. And it would say crash. I'm confused. Okay, your turn. How does your character speak and what is it saying? Let's do it, 60 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Now, next line is all about carrying things. What is your character holding in their hands? What is it carrying as they walk? For me, commotion would be carrying a suitcase. What would be in that suitcase? Mm, people's emotions, he'd be shaking it around. Commotion's always commotioning things. So tell me what is your character carrying in their hand and what are they doing to the thing that they are carrying? Maybe they're carrying a banana. Maybe they're carrying a box. What's inside the box? Maybe they're carrying a kitchen spatula. Why are they carrying a kitchen spatula? You tell me. So in the next 60 seconds, write down what is your character carrying and why are they carrying it?
Okay, okay, okay. Now, we're almost there, only a few more lines left. How does your character move? How is it moving around? Is it walking around with swagger? Is it walking around tiptoeing? How does your character move? For me, I suppose commotion would move like a zigzagging pinball on a cruise ship. So you tell me, how would your character move? It could move around the streets right now. How would it move? Think about it for a little bit. Take a breath if you need to take a breath. 60 seconds. You know what to do. Pwop, pwop. Only two more lines left. Well done, well done, well done if you've made it this far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, second last line is about intention. What is the intention of your character? What is your character trying to do? Is your character a nice character? Is your character a mean character? Is your character someone that wants to hurt you or hug you or kiss you or kick you? You tell me, what is the intention of your character? I suppose for me, the intention of commotion would be to shake lives up like a milk bar milkshake. You know the drill, two more lines, 60 seconds. You can do it, pwa pwa. Okay, okay, last line. This line is my favorite poetic technique and that technique is alliteration. With alliteration, what we're gonna do is use the same consonant sound or letter again and again in a row. That's what alliteration is. Alliteration is when you say b -b -b, bouncing basketballs bounce. Oh, Peter Piper picked a pick up a pick up a pick or picture perfect, a painter perfect picture. But, 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 that is alliteration. I want you to write an alliterated line about your character. So, for example, for me, my commotion alliteration line would be commotion quickly collapsed, causing calamity. In the next 60 seconds, write down one sentence about your character using alliteration. 
All right, 60 seconds. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. And you're done. Well done, well done, well done, all done, all done, all done. Now that you've got your hard work done, got all those lines of poetry down, now it's your time to move them around and see what sounds nice next to each other. The cool thing about poetry is, who says what a poem is a poem, right? Absolutely anything can be a poem. Don't worry about making it sound like a story. This character doesn't need to have a beginning, middle and end. This character doesn't need to go on a journey. I just want you to use those lines of poetry that you've written to describe this character, to describe this topic. What topic did you choose? Let me know in the comments below. And if you did do this poem, I would love to see what you ended up writing. Type it out and Chuck it down in the comment section. I'd love to read it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for chilling with me today. I've had a pretty cool time hanging out with you. Hope you had a good time getting that poem out of your brain and onto a piece of paper. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and ding, hitting that bell notification icon. It would mean a lot. It also mean that you get to see this face as soon as those videos come out. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who supported me in this new little YouTube video thingamabob that I'm doing. I really, really appreciate your comments and I really, really appreciate you sharing these videos. I uh, hope everyone is well, safe and happy. One last big thank you to my latest Patreon, Hustle Pwa Pwa Pwa. Good man, thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. I think I'm done now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we get our dance on? Yeah, yeah, yeah.